Hey there YouTube, Jimmy with two of the top crane. And uh, today I'm gonna talk about this dolly a little bit before we go out and do this tank job. A while back I had uh, someone asking me to do a video about it. I think it was Rich Savalio. Said he hadn't seen a dolly like this and it, it is kind of an uncommon one. Over in Europe, I don't think they even run a dolly because the roads and stuff are so small, but um, I'll do a walk around front to back. So it's pinned to the back of the carrier with a pretty healthy pinnel hitch. Then we got our safety chains, air lines, a pivoting tongue. So that pivots up and down here. To, that way it can uh, oscillate. Um, differently than the carrier does or on a different plane and then what makes this dolly unique is we've got a set of tandems here up in the front and then it's almost a slewing ring right there in the center so this dolly is articulated so it, it basically acts like a truck trailer combination if this was the back of a semi right here then this would almost be your trailer connection so it's articulated. Backing it up is quite the challenge. It's like backing up a four wheel wagon. Also, uh, we got another set of tandems back here. So what this dolly does is when we're going down the highway and leaving our commercial area, commercial zone, we have to abide by the bridge axle spacing laws. So this spreads the weight of the crane out over a greater set of axles or greater number of axles and the way it does that is i lay the boom over the back and it rests on this bridge on the dolly on that pin and there's actually a lever up there on the boom cylinder that puts the boom cylinder in float mode so it just allows it to go up and down with gravity or the movement of the crane once we go to set up i'll have to re-engage that lever and it takes it out of float and allows pressure to build inside the cylinder and raise and lower the boom. Um, the reason why we have this bridge up here, and you can see it's got some rollers on it, is as this dolly articulates or turns right or left, it's going to turn at a different rate of speed than what the boom on the crane does because the turntable on the crane is clear up there. So that's its pivot point. And then the pivot point of the dolly is back here and there. So this bridge will actually traverse the top of this dolly as we turn. And I, I'm going to set my little camera up back here somewhere when we leave. See if I can control it with my remote. But I'll, uh, I'll try to get some video of this thing in action, you know, when we pull out of the lot and go down the road a little ways. The way this dolly's set up, too, we've got a big open area back here. So we carry going down the road we carry our first counterweight back here on the back and we also take the block off and not a lot of crane companies take their block off to go down the road um, they will leave the boom hanging out back here past the end of the dolly and leave the block on it in doing so when you turn um, that turns that that boom has a lot of tail swing so if I were to turn a hard left turn with that boom tip sticking out without exaggeration that boom tip would be about where i'm standing which is about 15 feet outside that dolly um, so much so that if you're on a four lane road and you're in the far left lane and you're going to make a left turn if you make that hard left turn the end of the boom actually swings out clear to the curb across the right side lane so it's not real safe and it makes it very difficult to get in and out of places so we've elected to make a stand for the block and uh, i actually did that with some of my minimal fabrication skills but i made that stand that cradles the block we just set it in it um, and then we tie our rope back right there to the single top pin that way we don't have to walk it clear back to the winch because that would take forever but we can leave this block and be ready to pick in 10 minutes so that extra 10 minutes 
goes a great distance towards safety and uh, just maneuverability. So I don't mind spending 10 minutes or even a block when it makes it that much safer and that much more maneuverable. So this side's pretty much the same side or same as the other side with exception of we have a pin down here that's air operated. I don't have enough air built up. But what it does is that pin will come up and engage that hole in the bottom and that locks out the articulation. So if I've got to back up a long distance in a straight line and I can only do it pretty much going straight because once I lock that, then it puts everything in a bind if I try to turn, but it allows me to back up, you know, back straight up a lot faster because this dolly's not wagging around all over the place. Again, like, you know, like a four wheel wagon. Uh, this dolly was manufactured by Nelson Manufacturing. They make a lot of specialized trailers and uh, boom dollies for cranes. So if you're interested in even more information about it, you can probably go to Nelson Manufacturing's website, look at some of the neat stuff that they build. But anyway, I wanted to uh, get a video out there about the dolly. It is kind of a machine in itself. Um, but it works very well. I, I can get into places with this crane and I'll stand back here. We're almost lined up at back bumpers with the semi trailer. And you can see, well, maybe you might be able to see. I'll walk clear to the front. I'm quite a bit longer than a conventional semi and a lot wider. And with the way this dolly's configured, I can get into places with this crane that you can't get a semi in. So this is where the truck stops. I'm another 15 feet past the end of the truck, maybe 20. And I can get this crane in places you can't get a big truck. So anyway, hope that covers all that. If you guys have any more questions on that dolly, let me know. Uh, I'll try to make another video uh, answering any questions or we'll just answer them in comments or I've got a live stream coming up Sunday. It will not be another six hour live stream, I promise. But we could go over some stuff then. So I'm going to get ready to uh, head down the road.